Understanding Air Moisture Content, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make learning English easy and fun. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that touches on both language and science, air moisture content. Understanding this term can help you not only improve your English vocabulary but also give you insight into daily weather reports and discussions about climate. So, let's get started and explore what air moisture content means and why it's important. Air moisture content refers to the amount of water vapor present in the air. Water vapor is essentially water in its gas form, and it's invisible to our eyes. The air around us always contains some water vapor, but the amount can vary significantly depending on the location, weather, and temperature. Air moisture is crucial because it affects how we perceive the temperature. High moisture content makes hot days feel hotter, while low moisture content can make cold days feel even colder. Understanding this concept is essential for grasping weather patterns and for discussions about humidity and comfort levels. Knowing about air moisture content is important for several reasons. Weather predictions, it helps in understanding and predicting weather conditions. High moisture content can lead to rain or snow, while low moisture content often means dry and clear weather. Health and comfort. It affects our health and comfort. High humidity levels can make it difficult for the body to cool down, leading to discomfort or even heat-related illnesses. Agriculture. It plays a significant role in agriculture. Farmers rely on understanding moisture levels in the air to make informed decisions about planting and watering crops. The air moisture content is measured in several ways, but two common terms you might encounter are relative humidity and dew point. Relative humidity is a percentage that shows how much water vapor the air is holding compared to the maximum it can hold at a certain temperature. Dew point refers to the temperature at which air becomes saturated with water vapor and water starts to condense, leading to dew formation. Both these measures give us valuable information about the air's moisture content and help in planning daily activities, understanding weather forecasts, and discussing climate conditions. We hope this video has helped clarify what air moisture content means and why it matters. Understanding such terms not only enriches your English vocabulary but also enhances your comprehension of the world around you. Remember. Language learning is not just about words, it's also about connecting with concepts that affect our daily lives. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content. Stay curious, and happy learning!